Can you tell me about the recent study about alcoholism and lawyers? Sure. So um, the study was conducted by uh, Hazelden, Betty Ford, in conjunction with the American Bar Association. And it was the first such study to really examine lawyers and drinking, as well as other drugs, but the focus was on drinking in the profession in 25 years. Um, the study showed alarming rates of substance abuse, primarily alcohol, um, and uh, one of the big surprises, to me at least, was that the, um, the population most likely to have a drinking problem, uh, as the study found, was lawyers in their first 10 years of practice. And I had expected that dealing with the progressive disease of alcoholism that we would see the heaviest numbers at the top of the, of the chain in terms of age. And I've tried to think about what the reasons for that might be, and I think there could be a few. I think that um, one might be that some people who are problem drinkers coming, maybe they were binge drinkers in college, they continued that kind of behavior in law school and then came to firms uh, or government jobs or wherever it was and continued that sort of partying lifestyle uh, in their early careers and then eventually just aged out of it, either got married, had kids, settled down. I have a lot of friends, for example, who were heavy drinkers in college, law school, and when we were practicing law that just slowed down as a matter of course. I, on the other hand, did not. Um, I also think that um, perhaps as the numbers go down, as uh, the age range increases, that could reflect the fact that people fall out of the profession. Because the more that alcoholism takes hold, the harder it becomes to remain a lawyer and to practice and to function. And I think probably a lot of people sort of fall away from it um, at some point. And, um, you know, I do think also that there probably are just a lot more younger lawyers with drinking problems now than there were 25 years ago, last time this kind of study, even remotely, was conducted. Um, because of the immense pressures, the economy today, what, what law grads are coming out to, most of them, or I shouldn't say most of them, many are saddled with significant debt from college, from law school, the jobs are scarce. Um, there is this feeling that I'm going to graduate law school and walk into one of these jobs that starts at $160,000 a year, but that's only a handful of legal jobs. And a lot of people struggle a lot more um, than they might expect to, given the fact that they've invested in this degree and in this profession.